It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Black Hops Brewery and it's a kind of their Super Hornet double IPA coming in at 8.7% ABV in a 375 milliliter can. I like the wrap on this can. There's a certain classiness about it. There's enough information on the bottom of the can there. I like the back, the black and the silver. It all looks really good. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the can opening, be it in the glass then. <clears throat> They've used a slightly darker malt, probably a lot of pale malt, and then we got a little bit of kind of maybe some some lovely red malts in this beer. Uh, lovely carbonation, look at the carbonation on this beer. We've got a two finger, slightly off white head. Slight haze there. Let's get the aroma. Oh, it's one of those, I, I would say American it's inspired double IPAs where it's menacing. It's a menacing one. You can, you can. It smells a little syrupy and kind of floral and fruity, and you know all of the hops are kind of like dug in. They're really kind of like dug into the beer. They're not going anywhere. They're not giving off a massive aroma, but you know when you get into it, it's going to be like pff, hop explosion. So without further ado, let's dive in. Cheers. Oh. Oh yes, yes. Stone the crows. Stone the crows. Lovely mouthfeel. Little bit of sweetness. Big bold kind of biscuity body, but there's a stickiness on the lips with the hops that they've added to the beer. Carbonation pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. And tell me, if you've tried this beer here, in Australia, or not here in Australia, because I'm in the UK. You guys are over there in Australia. If you've tried this beer in Australia, tell me, is there a little bit of maybe a touch of smoked malt on the back end? I'm getting a little bit of smokiness. I am. but a lovely, rich, oily kind of hoppy mouthfeel. A little bit of sweetness to begin with. Bitterness on the back end is tremendous. It says on the side of the can here, made by three mates on the Gold Coast. Awesome, 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 awesome. Love it. It's a lingering bitterness. It's kind of like, just kind of hangs around and lingers on the palate a little bit. Yeah, it's really good. Really kind of enjoyable, balanced beer. There's a nice amount of sweetness, nice amount of bitterness. Yeah, it's good stuff. Good stuff. I'm going to rate it. First of all, before I rate it, let's see what the brewer says on the side of the can here. The Super Hornet Double IPA is an upgraded redesign of our Hornet IPA. Fitted with extra ABV, firepower and extended bitterness range. This bad boy is, des is destined sorry, to establish flavour superiority. Loaded with an almond of, almondment of fresh NATO hops. You will smell this beer before you see it coming. Ah, now. Uh, 
I said all the flavours were kind of locked into the beer. I'm going to stick with that, I think. I called it menacing, didn't I? Like a menacing... I'm going to stick with my... Because it's a lot of American... I, I mentioned it was an in, maybe an American-inspired double IPA where it's just menacing. Everything's kind of like crammed into the taste rather than the aroma. I'm going to stick with my guns on that. But the taste, the taste is wonderful. Let's rate it. 8.7% ABV. You would never believe the beer was drinking at that. I like it enough to give it the Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.